everyone! Today, I'm actually going to use a brush. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to paint my canvas uh, black to start with. And after that, as you can see, I have a couple of uh, acrylic skins uh, that I'm going to use. So let's get started with that. That's about it for now. I'm going to let that dry. Acrylic dries quickly, so it shouldn't be too long. And after that, I'm going to use the acrylic skins. Uh, I think it will be fun. Um, so, see you in a bit. I'm back! Um, so I'm going to use another brush. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, just use some fluid medium. Um, I use this because it's a lot less expensive and easier to find. And uh, it sticks just as well. You can use medium as glue. Uh, I've used it a lot in the past. Uh, works really nicely. And I have my selection of skins here, and I'm going to put medium on the back side and then stick it on. Here we go. Same for the rest, it's just the same process. So yeah, the, the fluid medium is a lot less expensive than pouring medium and it is a lot easier to find. Uh, right now, pouring medium is in high demand and very hard to find. It also dries completely transparent, so if I have um, some that like, so if I have some that spreads out, it's all right. We won't see it in the end result. At first I wanted to use that one, but with the black background, I think bright colors is the best option. Mm. Even this is a bit too dark in my liking. I have a whole bunch of little drips, so I'm going to stick them all around. 
I think it's going to look very nice. There's also fluorescent paint in there, so it's going to be a black light reactive. Very cool. And one last. Put it there. another one another color That's it. Um, that's what it looks like. That's another use you can have for your acrylic skins. It's pretty easy to make and I think it looks good. I really like when the skins have those drips in them. Um, I think it looks super interesting and it's a lot of details and it looks really cool when there's fluorescent colors in them. So yeah, that's about it. Um, so that's it. I'm going to put the close-up pictures for you and uh, I really like um, the effect. Uh, I chose those two skins for the contrast between them and I think the drips are also very interesting. I may put a coat of uh, varnish on that later but I'm going to let the acrylic cure completely beforehand. Uh, I think the varnish will really make it pop and uh, it's going to look very interesting. And yeah on that note thank you guys for watching i hope you have a great day um, make sure to subscribe for more and if you liked this video give it a like i would appreciate bye <laughs>